For centuries, we have sailed across vast oceans, guided by the sun and stars to discover and explore new worlds. Now, as we look to this same canopy of stars, we embark on adventures no less hazardous and far more ambitious, to voyage into the solar system. The solar wind falls first upon Mercury, the world lying closest to the sun. Little larger than our own moon, hammered by ancient meteor impacts, this is the most heavily cratered of the planets. Devoid of an atmosphere, Mercury is both frigid in the shade and torrid in the sunlight, with the most extreme temperatures in the solar system. Of similar size and composition to Earth, Venus is often called our sister planet. In mythology, she is known as the goddess of love. But in reality, Venus is a world without welcome. A place of stifling heat and crushing pressure, cloaked in clouds of poisonous gas, a world of fractured plains, lava, and volcanoes. Yet, seen from afar, Venus is one of the jewels of the solar system, and viewed from Earth, she is our evening star. Enchanting the night, our own moon has a barren though beautiful landscape. It is the only other world upon which we have yet set foot, inspiring us to journey on to even more distant worlds. The oblong moon Phobos hurls our arrival at Mars. Mars, the god of war, the red planet, a world wrapped in a rarefied atmosphere above a bleak, frozen surface. Where water once flowed, there is now only rock and dust. Immense dust storms frequently arise and encircle the entire planet. Believed once to have held vast oceans, Mars keeps its little remaining water below the surface and in terraced formations at the polar caps. Like a net encircling the inner solar system, the asteroid belt contains debris from long vanished and shattered worlds. This is the threshold to the domain of the giant outer planets. Jupiter is truly the king of the gas giants, more massive than all the other planets combined. Violent, unceasing storms churn the upper atmosphere. Jupiter's great red spot could hold entire worlds within its turbulent boundaries. One of Jupiter's many diverse moons, Europa, is composed almost entirely of ice. 
fractured by Jupiter's tremendous gravitational forces. In direct contrast to Europa, Io is the most volcanically active body in the solar system. The volcanoes of Io eject spectacular sulfur plumes high above the surface. Saturn, with its famous rings, composed of myriad ice fragments, is magnificent to behold. One of Saturn's many moons, Titan, is a mysterious world wrapped in a thick nitrogen blanket. In stark contrast, Mimas is a desolate place almost shattered by a massive meteor impact. Still within the realm of the gas giants, Uranus, a world unlike all others, rotates on its side with a pole toward the sun. For 42 years at a time, one hemisphere is cloaked in darkness while the other remains bathed in sunlight. Miranda, a moon rotating outside the dark rings of Uranus, is a scarred world whose unusual surface was shaped by unknown forces. Neptune an exquisite blue planet is marked by a perpetual swirling storm and graced with delicate rings. The moon Triton is a doomed world, slowly spiraling in toward Neptune. Lying at the far reach of the sun's embrace, tiny Pluto and its companion Charon, two frozen bodies locked in orbit around one another. This mysterious double planet awaits our exploration. We are at the frontier of the sun's kingdom, beyond which lies the realm of the comets. These lonely, icy worlds enter our solar system and become luminous as their surfaces are vaporized by the warming sun. Majestic emissaries from the birth of the solar system, comets return as brilliant streamers in the night sky. As we return to Earth and look back upon these many and varied worlds, we may contemplate the solar system in a new light. We no longer see the stars merely as a canopy above us, but as a map 
a map to many other worlds beyond our own and to those we may yet discover.